Hey, I'm ZSH Plays. Welcome back to Planet Wild. In today's episode, we're going to try something new, building a tropical beach in Costa Rica and filming a jaguar hunt. So we're here on a very special map that I'm really excited to use for the first time. This is the Goodwin Memorial Zoo, which is one of the scenario maps, but this is not the normal version. This is from the workshop created by someone called Fastbow, and they've used a mod to increase the border size so that we can build across the entire map. As you know, we don't use mods on this channel, so the great thing is you do not need mods to be able to access this map. And what that enables us to do is something really unique, recreate the Corcovado National Park in Costa Rica. So let's jump in and start building. So the first thing to do is get rid of all the evergreen trees that were covering the map. This is a temperate map and we are building a tropical Central American jungle so we don't want those. And then this area you can see here is the beginning of the area that is going to become the beach. So we need to get the terrain tools out, get a nice sandy beach. Let's get on that. So I've used the flatten to surface tool to drag this terrain down under the water because this sea that you can see here is part of the map, not actual Planet Zoo water, which means you can actually build in and around it so we can get this gorgeous beach which slowly slides down into the sea. I am in love with this map already, it looks so good. Let's get stuck in and do some more work. All right, so this is a view I haven't seen in Planet Zoo before. I love this. You can see the sand going down into the water here. I'll show you what I mean about the water. If we go underwater, there's no underwater effect. It just disappears because it's just part of the map. And then if we go back up again, here it is looking gorgeous. Uh, yeah, really pleased with the, with the beach. I think it's going to be a really unique environment. So next up, we need to sort out the trees. So if we go over here. This is the beginnings of the plant palette that I always do. These trees are actually taken from the flooded forest episode of Planet Wild. Um, I was really happy with the Amazon um, tree setup that I got there. So I'm going to start with these and then edit these to fit them more into the Costa Rican uh, vibe that we're going for. But it's going to be pretty much based on an improved version of this. I've got to say my skills have improved a bit um, <laughs> since the flooded forest. So you can see there's basically no ground cover at all. I just use the in-game grass. That's not good enough anymore. So we're going to do a lot of work on what happens on the floor. All right, that looks better. I've used the tropical plant panels and loads of the moss decals to create ground cover. So it looks more like a jungle. Obviously you don't really get grass in jungles. There's way too many trees providing shade for that. So we've got all the ferns. I've put some logs in and yeah, this has got a much more jungly kind of vibe than what we had before. Just see it end onto the beach here. Still need a lot more work to do on the beach. Obviously we've got this big blank area here. But once you get the camera in there, this is starting to look a lot more like a jungle. And what we need to do next is get these trees all over the whole island. Oh, this is looking really good. Really got that jungle vibe now with the sun coming through the little gaps in the trees. If we take the camera up, then we'll see that there's been a lot of work put in <laughs> to get this whole island covered. We've done a lot more work on the beach as well. You can see how it the jungle ends and the beach begins. We're going to put a rock pool in here. And yeah, this is really starting to look how I want it to look. We've got some coconut trees leaning over onto the beach. Um, and what we're going to do next is start detailing the areas where we want the animals to go. So this is the beach pretty much completed now. We've got some rocks out in the sea. We've got some more of these coconut palms bit of seaweed lying on the beach which is um, upside down plants basically got a few more of these plant boards just coming out onto the beach to join the jungle onto the land and then over here we've got the rock pool that I mentioned and this is where the tapir are gonna live uh, they're gonna be able to get into the jungle as well and eventually uh, I will join the jaguar and the tapir habitats together to uh, see what happens. <laughs> we need to get some water in here as well. Yeah, this is looking really good. All right, so the water's in and we have our first animals, the tapir, to take up their new beach home. Sadly for the tapir, they're gonna be very much on the menu for our jaguar. So they may not enjoy this beach as much as it looks like they are at the moment. We've got another area I wanna work on though. So up and above the rock pool, we've got this area here. I'm gonna have the capuchins in. 
So we've got more of this ground cover and then we've got some trees that they can climb as well and some vines. Always looks great when the capuchins run across the vines so they can get up into these and then into this big tamarind tree here as well and then they can sit up here and look down over the beach. So let's bring those guys in now and see how they look. Jumping into action, these are one of my favourite animals in the game. They are so cute. I love just watching them live their crazy little lives, running around and climbing. They're so entertaining. These guys are going to have a great view of the hunt down on the beach and in the jungle, I think. Let's get on to the next stage of the build. Now at the back of the jungle, I've started putting a river in where we're going to have some caiman. Uh, maybe the jaguar can chill out around here for a bit as well. So just started digging out the terrain, putting in some rocks and some plants, um, but not finished yet at this stage. Got some ponytail palms sunk into the ground as always. Can't make a planet wild without those. Can't make anything without those these days really. And uh, yeah, starting to look nice, but a lot more work to go. Let's get that finished off. Oh yeah, that looks way better. I really like this. Water looks much better in a more realistic sort of South American dirty kind of uh, brown colour. Let's get some caiman in. So these guys are obviously not going to play a big part in our jaguar hunt. The jaguar will be hunting the tapir, but I just really wanted to get some of the caiman in. Um, I've only built one habitat for them and I really like how they look. But uh, speaking of the jaguar, we need to polish up where the jaguar is going to live. So let's take a look at that. All right, so this is the center of the jaguar's territory. Got a little clearing with a scratching tree for him. And then we've got the jungle all around, leading out to the beach on one side and leading over to the river on the other side. That is the Corcovado pretty much built. So it is time to get the animals in and introduce the jaguar to the tapir. Let's check it out. All right, here we go. I'm gonna leave you to enjoy the hunt. I'll be back in a minute when it's all over. Sorry Tape here, that was pretty cool though. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again for some more Planet Zoo.